Hey, welcome to my channel. And this is Miss Jonesy. I'm going to make a beehive. It's a, going to be an enhancement for a planner or a wreath. And uh, I'm going to use the Dollar Tree Easter eggs and I'm going to cut the bottom of it. It's very easy to cut with scissors so that you form this type of shape and you connect it to the next plastic side and then that'll form the beehive. We'll wrap it with twine, we'll add a little beehive hole, a little bit of decorations, and it'll be a cute little enhancement to place in any of your Easter decor baskets that you're making, any of your floral arrangements, or anything you want to use the beehive for. So find some plastic eggs that are easy to cut. These Dollar Tree ones are, the gold part isn't because it's thicker, but these plastic ones are really easy to cut. And let's begin. Thank you for stopping in. As you are going around, it's going to depend on the thickness of your jute cord. You can use the Dollar Tree really tiny jute cord, but that's going to take you forever to wrap. You can use the nautical rope. That's going to take you just a quick minute or so. I'm using like a medium jute, which I pick up from Walmart. It's a bigger bundle like this for four bucks, and it's made by the same company that makes my heat gun that you see in my videos, and that is from Daris or dye rice, however you pronounce it. So it's good quality jute cord. You want this uh, little beehive to last for a long time, there you go. Now I've seen other videos on making beehives and the ladies are using wax paper to cover an egg or a bowl, then gluing the jute trine, then removing the wax paper and it, removing it from the board or the bowl. The thing I'm doing is I'm using the Easter egg as a balance to create this beehive because one, it is very hard to wrap it and then pull it off from parchment paper or from a bowl and then make sure each and every level of the twine is glued. It's a lot of hot glue you're using in that sense. This way we're limiting the hot glue. We're also um, giving it a base in the back. And in the end it's still going to look like a beehive. It's not going to look like an egg, believe me. Let's continue and let's do it this way. And I thank you once again for watching. Yo, this is fun. Art is freedom. Now here it is, the cutest little beehive, the start of it. And we have a hook in case we want to hook this on to something. And we will make now the little hole. I'm going to use a Dollar Tree letter O. Okay. I will probably wrap it in twine and then place it right here. And then paint the inside black. That I think would be the easiest way to develop a hole. And let's continue on. This is fun.
I just want to show you a few ideas for the hole. Now we can use black glitter paper to place behind our little opening. Um, I was even thinking that would be cute. The little salt shaker lid. Paint it black because see it's creating holes. It reminds us of a honeycomb. Or we can use some of the Dollar Tree leftover doily lace. Now, if you watch my previous vid videos, I've been using this lace. And I have pieces left. So, like, one dollar has gone a long way. This will be the third project because this is what I'm going to use. I'm going Hello, let me apologize for the last video, it cut out real briefly, and my batteries uh, died out on my camera. I must spend about $14 in batteries a month, just so that I can record what I'm doing on this camera, and then upload it to YouTube, because it needs battery power to do that too. So anyhow, I found some leftover ribbon from Miss Everly's Easter basket that I made her. Please see that video where I take two Dollar Tree lace paper baskets and create her a very cute storage unit, but Easter basket made out of bumblebees uh, material. And so I think that this is where I'm going to place or set this honey beehive is by her basket. Anyhow, this ribbon's already on her basket, so I'm going to cut out a few of these bumblebees and add them to this hive and then we will have our final photos i hope you enjoyed my little brief tips and i do want to say i did take my heat gun and go around that little hole i created and burn edges see how it's a little bit darker that's from the heat gun right and then there's the lace in the middle and it's painted to make it look like there's little holes that they're entering into. I like the little details and things. You know, this is a very easy project. It's just time consuming. And I hope I showed it to you in a very simple form. And that was wrapping it around the Dollar Tree uh, plastic egg. And see, like I said, it did not turn out into an egg shape. It turned out into a honey bee hive shape. And see, it's all connected together for the twine. So this will last. You could place it on a reef, wherever you want. Make them up, make them, make your own little honey hives, add your own little sparkling touch. And without further ado, I'm gonna cut up some of these little bees and add it to this hive, and we'll see you again soon. Please subscribe or stick around and enjoy the spring weather that we're having here in Michigan. I send my blessings out to you and your family for me and mine. And this is March 27th, 2019. Bye-bye. And here I attached it to Miss Everly's Easter basket. That's why I made it whimsical. Isn't it cute? Class.